Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3, Kappa Mode. How are you guys doing today? How's life? I wanted to start today's episode by making a rocket and going to the moon, but unfortunately since this is Kappa Mode, we need to start by making HTPE. We need HTPE in order to make a compressor. And I did check, yes, we do have the laser cutter, but unfortunately we also need the compressor in order to make the rocket parts. So, many people will tell you that making HTPE is incredibly complicated. I'm going to tell you, it's a piece of cake. These are all the machines that you're going to require, and the first one is a pump, so that you will get water. You're going to need an electrolytic separator in order to convert the water into hydrogen and oxygen. You're going to need a crusher in order to convert some sort of a plant into biofuel. We're going to use apples. And then you're going to need a pressurized reaction chamber or PRC in order to make substrate and ethylene. You're going to convert that ethylene into liquid ethylene and you need another PRC in order to convert everything into HTPE. And we're going to set it up. And no, we're not going to use a sink because there's a dead fish inside. It's very unhygienic. So you go away. We're going to have a source block of water and we will put the pump on top. Of course, we're going to rotate it so that we will be able to give it power. The electrolytic separator goes on top so that it will get water and it will convert it into hydrogen and oxygen and we're going to dump the excess and since everything in mechanism works perfectly together we're going to take the hydrogen out and put it inside a PRC here so you will get hydrogen perfect it's also going to require water so we're going to configure it for fluids and input and you should go in so you should have water for demonstration we're going to put a little bit of biofuel inside you and you will give us substrate and a little bit of ethylene. This ethylene that we have over here is a gas. So we're going to use a pressurized tube over here and we need to convert it into a liquid. So we're going to use a rotary condensator which is always going to face the wrong way, obviously. So we need to rotate it and you should get ethylene. Uh, I need to extract it. We put you on gases and extract. Yep, it's getting ethylene and we're out of energy crystals. Nice. <laughs> Okay, you're 32, you're 32, you are also 32. How many devices am I powering? There is no reason to panic. We have them on auto crafting, so we are fine. So if we give power to the rotary condensator, he will make us liquid ethylene. Now that we have liquid ethylene, we're going to extract it and put it inside another pressurized reaction chamber. And it's not connecting because I have to configure it. There you go. And now we need to extract. So you go on fluids and extract. This guy has ethylene and now we need to hook up the oxygen. Like so. So we have liquid ethylene and we have oxygen. And the only thing it needs is substrate. And of course power. And it will make us HTPE. And a little bit of oxygen. Which we have to get rid of because otherwise it's going to be a problem. This is our complete setup in order to make HTPE and I just wanted to show it to you before I cover it up with a facade or something. So the idea is that I will hook up this crusher to an ender chest so that we would be able to provide it with apples so that it will give us biofuel. The biofuel goes here, hopefully, <laughs> and we will get substrate. Substrate goes into the other PRC and we will get HTPE together with liquid ethylene. I also have a gas tank here so that we would be able to dump the excess oxygen from here. Otherwise, the system will shut down if this tank gets full. You just have to put this one on dumping excess and then you're fine. We have more than 1200 HTP pallets, which is very good and relatively fast. <laughs> but anyway, I also went up ahead and made a bunch of machines from mechanism so that we would be able to complete the chapter. The only things remaining is the advanced tier installer, which requires a tier 4 blood altar, which uh, we don't have it right now. So these two has to wait, but the rest are done and we can claim them all. So from the machines we actually made, the only thing that is going to be useful is the combiner and probably the dynamic tank, but we will use them later on. The combiner is for making ores. You put the dust, you put the stone, and you will get the actual ore. I actually think it's much easier to show it to you on the JEI. So you put eight iron dust, one cobblestone, and you will get one iron ore. It's not very useful, but for instance, if you're doing agri-craft and you need to put these guys under your plants, you don't need to hunt them, you can just make them. It works with every ore not just iron. So I spent a little bit of time trying to reorganize our stupid little basement here. I realized that I'm using lava everywhere and it makes sense to have a central lava production system and use ender tanks to transfer it everywhere because I was just putting down these guys, these crucibles and making lava locally. So this way we have a central system. This guy is glitched out but I can assure you 
it does work. I also made interfaces as you guys suggested and put a crafting card inside. And the reason that we're not producing capacitors in large quantities right now is that we're out of redstone. So that's something that I have to fix later on. I just try to reorganize it, nothing special. I also added a section downstairs so that we can add new machines, especially for galactic craft. Here. We're going to work on this. The first item that we're going to need from Galactic Craft is called a circuit fabricator because most of the machines either require a circuit or a wafer. So we're going to make two of these guys. It does not have a crazy recipe and we have already everything we need except the thorium oxide ingot. I checked and it only has one crafting recipe. So we're just going to make one stack and we're not going to automate it because we have a fluid infuser here and we get thorium oxide. This guy has 17 pages of recipes and I only made two. <laughs> Maybe I should make two more? Yeah, it's cheap. We make two more. Now that we made this, I'm actually not sure if it works with our applied energistic system because the machines are always weird. So let's see if we can make some wafers. Yeah, they do work. It's just incredibly slow. Why aren't you importing? Yeah, you can import it, but only from the bottom. That is weird. Since these machines are a little bit weird, we're going to put them here so that they're separate from the other ones, which are normal, <laughs> and we should be able to automate everything correctly. I do have import buses on the bottom and the interface is at the top. And I'm also providing them wireless energy from the left. Uh, you have to place them one by one so that you can power them one by one. The second machine that we need from Galactic Craft is called a compressor, and this is why we needed HDPE. The compressor works with coal, but the second tier one works with RF, so we're going to make that one. Also, this guy makes basically all the compressed copper and tin and lead and so on and so forth, which we need in order to make the platings for the rockets. We can make the compressed metals using our laser cutter, but in order to make the plates, we needed this machine. So this is why we had to make HTPE and this is why we had to make a compressor because this does not have any other recipe. So I'm actually making all the compressed aluminium, steel and bronze using our laser cutter because this guy is super fast. Now we should try and see if we can make some heavy duty plating. Yeah, it's making everything which is very good. Uh, it had the same problem like those guys. You have to import everything back to your ME system from the bottom. So we're also going to require a NASA workbench which requires an ME controller. I can't make it. Actually, I had four already, so we're good. I actually thought that this is also compressed steel. This is titanium. Oh, we have titanium. Look how fast this guy is compared to the compressors. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, our NASA workbench. So with this guy, we should be able to start making rockets. We're going to start with the first tier one because uh, we need the schematics in order to make the higher tier ones. And this is why we have to go to the moon. The tier one rocket is so cheap. <laughs> Am I missing something? Before going to the moon, there are some things that we need to take care of. And the most important one is oxygen. So we're going to need an oxygen collector and then we're going to need an oxygen compressor. So we put them there and then we need to hook them up to RF. And apparently oxygen is a fluid. So we're going to use a fluid duct in order to fill this guy. Yeah, it has power, it has oxygen. And if we put a tank inside, it should fill it in. Perfect. I have to cover this. Yeah, much better. I think we're going to need more of these guys because this is slow and we need a lot of oxygen tanks. Before I forget, we are doing this in the overworld, so the oxygen collector collects oxygen from the atmosphere and puts it in our tank. If you want to do this in space, you either need leaves or you need crop. But we are not going to produce oxygen in space because we can just carry the tanks. It's easier. I also made the refinery from Galactic Craft because it was a quest, but I don't think we are going to need it because we're already getting fuel from our uh, plastic machine over there. So we should be fine, I guess. But let us check. One of them should be fuel. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's fuel. I hooked up the drum of fuel to an ender tank and then I do have a fluid transposer at our base which has a pattern for making fuel canisters. So we can auto craft them, no problem. We also need to make some space suit and unfortunately for that we're going to need an iron helmet and I don't want to make it manually. So we're going to order it through our Amadron tablet, I think. I think it's disabled. <laughs> Just to make one iron helmet, this is all the tiers that I have to work through and it's crazy. Really crazy. And it's actually funny that until right now, I kind of memorized everything. Nice. For the spacesuit, we're going to need an oxygen mask, one oxygen gear and a parachute. And obviously the oxygen tank. So we can just put them here, I think, and we should be fine. What is this one? 
It's called Frequency Module, can receive weak sound waves and distant signals. Yeah, why not? What was that? After a bunch of crafting, I think we have everything we need in order to go to the moon. I did make a lot of oxygen tanks and a lot of fuel canisters. I also made the launch pad, I also made the fuel loader and everything and all the parts we need in order to make the tier 1 rocket. And we're going to assemble it together for the first time. Like so. Tier 1 rocket. For higher tier rockets, we are going to need schematics. And we find schematics in dungeons that are located in different planets. So we're going to buy one of these dungeon locators and we're going to spend 200 RAKs. It makes our lives easier. And we have 700 RAKs left. And in case you want to know, we have almost 6600 crystalline capacitors. And for coming back, we're actually going to take a dislocator from Draconic Evolution. Because our base is on top of the void and I'm not sure if it's going to parachute us into the void or on our base. The tier 1 rocket requires a 3x3 launch pad as well as a fuel loader. So we're going to put you here and I hope you're facing the right way which you are not. How would I know if you have fuel? There's no tooltip. I'm guessing there's only one way to find out. Can we fly? Oh, we have fuel. Nice. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And lift off. This could take a while. Yeah, I told you. We're still going up. Oh, we're there. Cool. So we are looking for the overworld so that we can go to the moon. Hopefully. Prepare for entry. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm so scared that this guy is going to crash that I'm going to hold space for the entire time. I don't want to crash. And welcome to the moon, by the way. There's a village. <laughs> and touchdown. We are on the moon. Hello. We can take our rocket pack and the launch pad. And we're going to set you up here so that we can go back home. And we're going to set the other one so that we can come back to the moon whenever we want. As far as I remember, we're actually not looking for any ores on the moon. We're just looking for the dungeon, which is right there. Can of food. Dehydrated potatoes. Yummy. There was a creeper spawner. <laughs> okay. And here should be the boss. A giant wither skeleton. Are you dead? Oh my goodness. That was not very good. Be gentle, dude. Oh, you're dead. Cool. We got something. A key. And here is our reward. I hope it's the schematics. Haha. <laughs> you would think that a very wise person who brought a dislocator to the moon so that he can get back home would at least mark it on the map. That person apparently is not me, because I forgot. Well, since we have not explored that much, it was easy to find it. But now I should remember to mark it. Cool, we can go home. Apart from the schematics, there is something that you need from the moon. Meteoric iron. So we need to go back. If you don't spend that much time on the moon, you're actually very unlikely to find meteors, because uh, they don't actually spawn on the moon. They fall from space. I just noticed that in order to make every single plating for every single rocket above our own, we're going to need this meteoric iron and there's even a singularity for it but luckily there's also a seed so we need only 36 of them so far i have 15 and i also silk touched one so we have 17 and 19. we have the seed it's 10 10 10 and we're getting the essence and i'm super happy one of these days i'm actually going to start automating our laser cutter but for the moment since we want plates really fast i'm just gonna do this it should process everything and put it inside an ender chest. We need to upgrade our heavy duty plate which we used for the tier 1 rocket to heavy duty plate for the tier 2. And for that, we needed the compressed meteoric iron. I was joking that these guys are very slow but they're actually not that bad because it will do two of them at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our tier 2 rocket which I have no idea where it's going to take us. But it's ready. I was checking why it's not a quest and then I noticed that the schematics are the quest, not the rocket, which is very good. I don't know if we need paddings, because if we go to Venus, it's gonna be hot. I'll make them. I mean, the first tier one is super cheap, so we might as well just make it and wear it. I personally do not remember where the tier two rocket is going to take us, but I think it's either going to be Venus or Mars. We shall know soon enough. This looks weird. Also this time we are going to carry our digital miner just in case we need to get some ore. Here we go again. Venus requires tier 3. We need to go to Mars. Taking one small step. Sure. Takes 6 months. And I don't like this one. <laughs> I really don't like this one. No. 
Oh, we're fine. We are actually fine. That's good. Nobody did any miscalculations, so I'm happy. How do we get out? And as usual, we take our rocket, we put our pedestal, and one of you should be bound to Mars. And the other one goes here. It was a very wise decision to bring our digital miner because here is where we get dash. I was going to say that it seems to be daytime and there are no mobs. The moment I came up, those guys were there. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to set up our digital miner and try to mine some dash. Yeah, item stack dash ore. So you should be able to find it. Good. Oh, you're not configured. We should also find the dungeon in Mars so that we will get the new schematics. That's a charged creeper. Nice. Is this the dungeon? Yes, we have found it. And we have found the boss. Who is the creeper? Um, he had a trick, which I don't remember. Oh, we can just hit him, it's fine. Oh no, we can't hit him, we have to throw back the TNT. That's gonna take a while. Dude, shoot straight, so that I can throw it back. Only one hit left, and one more hit. Yes, I thought these are dragon eggs. We have the key. And we shall have the schematic. And we have plenty of dash ore, which is very good. We need that in order to make the next tier of heavy duty plates and of course the next tier of rockets. So by this time, I guess you guys get the gist. We need to go to different planets in order to obtain an ore so that we can upgrade our heavy duty plate so that we can make a better rocket so that we can go to another planet. And this is why I made more than one compressor because in order to get the third tier of the heavy duty plate, you're going to need tier two and then you're going to need tier one. So. It's a lot of work, but we can go to our NASA workbench and unlock tier 3. Awesome. Oh, and by the way, from now on, I think it's going to be easier because with our digital miner, we can mine the ores. The meteors were a pain because you could not use a digital miner, but the ores are easy. Also, I do realize that Dash has a seed as well, but the problem is uh, I'm out of essence. Ladies and gentlemen, our tier 3 rocket, which is going to take us to Venus. Cool. We can go to Venus. We are falling down like a meteor. How do you stop? Invalid thermal protection. Ladies and gentlemen, we are screwed. Actually, I think we're fine. Oh, we need the isothermal chest piece. Ah, I did not know that. Nice, it has acid rain. <laughs> okay, where's my rocket? Thank you. Whoop, okay, not the best place to dig. <laughs> How do you find a place to dig? I'm very confused. We are not looking for anything. What is that? Ah, we're looking for that. Let's go find the dungeon, I guess. I found something. Crashed Pro. Huh. Ooh, these are nice. Something broke. <gasps> my armor is breaking. Oh my goodness. And I would be very happy if I can find that stupid dungeon which is there. Is this the boss? I hate spiders. I really do. But that was easy. And we have the key, without any armor. The schematic is not here. Huh. For the tier 4 rocket, we are going to need compressed mercury. So I'm guessing our current rocket will take us to mercury. We just need new padding, that's it. We have the thermal padding for mercury, our rocket is refueling. And I just noticed this guy does not have a crafting recipe, which is weird. Oop, no, 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 no. I just realized that we went to Venus and this shulker box of pack of oxygen was still here. Yeah, we can also go to Mercury. Nice. We're going to majestically land in a crater filled with creepers. Oh no. I'm not sure if I have mentioned this or not, but we are actually trying to get the red gem from Jupiter in order to make the Philosopher's Stone. Also, if we manage to make the imaginary time block, which requires us to go to the seventh planet, which I'm not going to pronounce its name, would be also nice. And apparently on Mercury, we are looking for Mercury. And here is the boss room. So, what should we expect? Magma cube. <laughs> nice. These are easy. Of course, our sword is slightly OP. Tier 4 schematic. And I would say that's plenty of Mercury. We can go home. Our tier 4 rocket is ready and fueled and we will go to Jupiter very soon. I actually forgot that in order to make this guy, you also needed carbon from Mercury. So it was not just Mercury from Mercury, it was also carbon, which I went and got a few. 
So we have the tier 4 rocket, we're going to go to Jupiter, and we're going to get the red gem. Do you see that shulker box over there? That's my oxygen. I forgot it again. Taking one giant leap, yes, of course. It's a giant. We're going to land on a gas giant. Are you going to drop me in that red thing? <laughs> Please don't. Why are there structures? We have landed majestically. And we're going to die majestically? No, we're fine. We are fine. This is too loud. <laughs> How do you go down? I noticed that for the tier 5 rocket, I'm going to need titanium. So I had to go to the nether in order to mine some nether rank. And my dank null is being saved. See you. Oh, red gem. Hello. We have the red gem and palladium. Where is it? Cool. Oh, there's meteoric iron inside. Nice. We have the seed, and my armor broke. And this was empty. As usual, let us go and find the dungeon. And here is the boss room. And he's a bat. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. And he has slightly more health. And the schematic. This is going to be our tier 5 rocket. And it's going to take us to Saturn. My favorite planet. Do you see that shulker box? Yeah, I really need to take it. I'm so excited because this is actually my favorite planet in real life. It looks weird. It's also not that bad. We have half a tank of oxygen and we have majestically landed on this majestic planet and everybody is majestically pissed off. We run. I don't have armor. So on Saturn, we're looking for magnesium. Exactly. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Okay, I'm back at the base. And we're going to take you. We're here in order to make the tier 6 rocket. And the only thing we need seems to be magnesium. I'm not seeing anything else. Is that slime? Nuclear bomb. We absolutely have to try this nuclear bomb. Because otherwise, it's a wasted trip. Don't you work? Lever? I'm not getting away fast enough. I noticed that. Okay. For some reason, it's incredibly laggy. I'm very sorry. Tier 6 rocket. Alright guys, this is going to be our tier 6 rocket. And with this one, we're going to go to the seventh planet. I also remembered that I forgot my stuff here. This time I have my shulker box and this is the last planet that we're going to visit. Because we only need the blue gem. Nice. This is an icy planet and zombies. So we are looking for this crystal ore, but we are also looking for a blue diamond. Actually, it's not a blue diamond, it's a white gem. And I can't find it. Oh, <laughs> I'm right next to it, okay. We have both. Since we are not going to go to another planet, I'm not actually going to go and look for the dungeon. We just get the gems and we go home. Believe it or not, we have everything we are going to need in order to make the imaginary time block, except we ran out of transistors and one imaginary time block that's an achievement yes of course one is not going to be enough but the problem is making the growth crystals tier 3 is a pain it's an actual pain because making these guys is a pain the rest i can auto craft and it's relatively easy and another problem that we have is actually making uh, this guy because <laughs> this is also an empowerer recipe and I need an extra empower. Technically speaking, I checked and we're not that far away from making a Philosopher's Stone. Maybe three episodes from now, I'm not sure. But the only problem that we're going to have is to make Supremium Ingot, because the recipe is incredibly bad, <laughs> really bad. We also need to get into Botania. Since living there is incredibly boring, I'm actually thinking for our magic mods we're going to use different islands. So for instance, we will have one island for Botania, another island for I don't know, blood magic, and maybe a mountain for astral sorcery. And I'm also thinking that we need a place for embers, so I don't know, maybe we make a cave for embers. We will see. But this will take a lot of time because I am not duplicating stone. <laughs> Last time when we did this, I actually had EMC and, well, making stone was easy. This time it takes time. Also, just as a very fun fact, in order to make the energy condenser mark 1, this is the recipe. But wait, it gets actually worse. These orbs of light are easy peasy. The problem is the dark matter, which is going to need supremium coal. So we're going to need an insane amount of supremium. 
and that's going to be a challenge anyway guys i think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode i just checked the footage and apparently i have like two and a half hours of footage <laughs> normally when i make a 20 minute episode i have like 50 minutes or an hour of footage which i edited into like 20 minutes or something so i don't know how i'm going to edit this one it's going to be a problem i should not have gone to that many different planets anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it till the next one Bye-bye.